Um, I think sometimes as sellers, we feel compelled to just, we get the meeting, we almost verbal vomit everything that we think is phenomenal about our offering or our company or whatever it is, right? We, we show up just, you know, seeking to unload all this great information. How do you recommend that salespeople balance that need and compulsion to provide information and insights with the risk of overwhelming buyers with just way too much information that may not be pertinent? Well, I think what you're talking about is not only a problem as a seller, right? But as the buyers, when they want to go do their own research and they want to be on their own journey and all of that, that that's a, is a big, big risk is getting overwhelmed with information, right? We know there's no shortage of information and it comes from different sources. It's conflicting information in a lot of cases, different data, different viewpoints, all of that stuff. So whether you're getting it from a salesperson or from, from the internet or from your online research, the risk of, you know, the risk of overload, information overload is very, very high. And, you know, the fact is, you know, Brandon and I were talking about this before the show. The fact is, is that sales cycles have increased in length in the B2B world. There are more, to, more and more no decisions than there have been. And a lot of that is because of that information overload and that confusion. So you have to be able to bring back clarity to the buyer but at the same time, respect that the buyer wants to be able to do that research on their own and provide a way for them to get there without, again, the pressure or feeling like they have to interact with the salesperson if they're not ready to. So it's a, yeah, it's, it's definitely, you know, had side effects, I guess you'd say, on the fact that the buyer, you know, is more in control of that journey. 